Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It is Tech in the Classroom today with Mr. Parrott. I'm Mr. Parrott, and we're going to jump in here real quick. I know uh, I haven't made a lot of these videos, but we're trying to get into the habit of making them more frequently. And today's video, I'm going to focus on Canvas. Now, Canvas is not my favorite LMS. If you watch any of the other videos, you know that I'm a big fan of Google Classroom and how easy it is. But there are still some things in Google Classroom you just can't do. So uh, today we're going to talk about making a spelling test inside Canvas using your own recorded voice that your kids can then listen to and take the spelling test now I've done a few of these already today let's well before I get any further let me just say that um, today uh, I, I was I, I didn't know how to do this uh, a friend of mine uh, mrs. mrs. Uh, Clark did and uh, if you want to learn more about her and what she's doing she has a teacher pay teacher store which we should be able to make that come up right there clever in right there oh no there's how we do it all right uh, there and uh, I'll have a link into her store down below. So thank you very much, Mrs. Clark and the Clever Den for, for giving us the tip, and, and we're going to get right into it now. So right now, this is my Canvas um, dashboard, and I've got all these classes that are populated by my school and other courses that I've taken. I'm going to jump right into this one here. I make a classroom in which I can make quizzes into. That way, I don't have to... Um, that way, I, I, you know, I'm keeping everything in one one place. So this is, the, this is where I'm putting right now. So I've made a couple of these quizzes already. No, it's unpublished, so nobody sees this but me. But uh, uh, a couple of these quizzes already. I'm going to jump right down into quiz. I'm going to create a new quiz by hitting the plus quiz button, and then here we go. Uh, this quiz, i got to bring up my notes on the other screen here. Let's see. Nope, 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 nope. Yep. Uh, here we go. Uh, this quiz is uh, for... One of the post we're using post we're using pre and post test or pre and ah suffixes and prefixes this year we're focusing on it so this one here is actually going to be the uh, the by work from the word list by so I'm going to change the quiz name here to spelling uh, lowercase here to get the kids to make sure they doing lowercase there and, and then I'm going to put down here at the bottom say um, Listen, these are the directions you want your kids to follow. Listen to the word and the definition and then, or period. Uh, spell the correct word in the blank. Now you can also put some directions in there about capitalization, like only capitalized proper nouns and abbreviations and so forth like that, but I'll, I'll leave you to do that on your own. So now we want to click the question tab up here. i got to bring that back up so I know that I'm looking at the right thing. I am. That's good. Uh, now I want to click the question tab here uh, because it's going to allow us to start creating new questions in here. Right here it is. So we're going to create a new question, and this is going to be word one or question one. Uh, on our test and I'm just gonna go right down the list here because you could actually change this to make them come in different orders and things like that so uh, I won't worry about it too much because I just won't uh, I'll let the kids uh, try to stick to what we're saying here so the first word here on my list I had to scroll back to it is going to be by color B -I -C -L -O -R. by color right and then uh, so I have that in the correct answer slot I want to make sure that this is fill in the blank. So there's one possible answer. That's the correct answer. Um, and then I'm going to record and upload me. It looks kind of like a YouTube button without the colors. We're going to do that. And then we're going to get a warning here. So basically it says, can we use your flash on your computer? So this is probably the hardest thing maybe to, to realize if you're doing this for the first time. But uh, it just wants permission to use Adobe Flash. And if you have, are you if you're making this on your Chromebook or... Uh, I don't know, maybe a laptop or something that has a webcam and you're going to use that microphone built into it, maybe even a video of you saying it, you know, like is it saying the word, uh, or you can just hold up the definition or something like that. I'm use, just using the microphone, so I'm going to click the microphone, and then I'm going to allow it to use the microphone. And it, it asks permission every time, but you see it doesn't take long there. Just make it happen. So then you're going to record it. So I'm going to make sure I know what I'm reading. So I have... Uh, my word list over here on my other screen, so to make sure that's pulled up. And uh, I'm, I'm going to say the word by color. I'm going to say the definition having two different colors. And then I'm going to say the word again by color. And then I'm going to click again at the box and it's going to turn it off. So it should look something like this. <clears throat> Get my good voice going. 
bicolor. Having two different colors. Bicolor. Then I'm going to click it and you're going to hear it. Having two different colors. Bicolor. Right there. See? Uh, I'm going to hit save. And there we go. I'm just going to upload an image here that basically says this is your media content. And it's there. So we're going to update the question. And now question one is right there. I'm going to do one more here. Question two. So I'm going to hit question again. We're going to add a new question there at the bottom. The blue add new question. So question two. And this one is bicuspid. Oh, that's a fun one to say. B I. Uh, C U S. I want to make sure I make don't make any mistakes here. P U D, right? By no I D. See, there we go. By cuspid. See, get nervous on the camera. So I'm I'm checking it again because I don't want to get all the kids all the kids get one wrong because I made a typo. It's still fill in the blank. That's under the possible answer. We're gonna hit the record and upload media button again. And again. Because I'm using the microphone, I'm going to do the microphone. I can show you, like if I do this here, it's just going to tell me there's no camera detected. Because I don't have a camera set up on this particular rig. Um, but here, they will find my microphone. It's the same microphone I'm talking to you on right now. And it came up right away. So bicuspid. I'm going to look at the definition again. A two-pointed tooth located in the side of the jaw. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Clear the throat. Get ready to go. Bicuspid. A two-pointed tooth located in the side of the jaw. Bicuspid. Now, Bicuspid. A two-pointed tooth. Fantastic. And you, I mean, honestly, we shouldn't get too worked up or nervous because our, our kids hear us talk all the time anyway. Uh, so there's, I mean, I just want to make sure it's clear enough that they can hear it on the headphones. That's sort of my thought process. So we're going to update that question. Uh, I could go through and do all of these. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and do all of them real quick. I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to jump back maybe on the 10th one or something like that. So I'll do the 10th one and I'll show you how it ends. Okay, so be uh, just I'll we're be back. back. And I have gone through and I've done the, all the previous the previous nine here. So you see all of them are here, all one point a piece here. And I can click this to see that I typed all the words right if I want to do it that way. I have one left here to do uh, biweekly. It says uh, happening every two weeks. So let's uh, record that one real quick. Again, you're going to hit the button that looks like the YouTube symbol or the play button here. It says record slash upload media. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to do that now. So I'm going to click the microphone again because that's what I'm using. I'm going to hit allow. Make sure I'm ready to go. And click the button. Bi-weekly. Happening every two weeks. Bi-weekly. Bi-weekly. Happening every two weeks, bi-weekly. There we go. See, I saved it, and it's all good, and now it's done. So I'm going to update my question to make sure all my questions are there, and I'm going to hit save. This is going to save my quiz in its state with its, with its, uh, with all the stuff here and all this. And that. Now, there's one more step here that I'm going to do, and that is I'm going to save it to the Commons. And that way, because all you know, there's four fourth grade teachers, we're all working together. If they want to grab a hold of my, my spelling test and use it, more welcome to them. No reason why we shouldn't help each other out. I'm going to share to Commons. I'm going to make sure that people that, you know, that work with us can get it. I guess I can make sure anybody. So if you wanted to use it too, there you go. It's available for you as well. Uh, license copy. I, I don't have any idea here. I always just put Commons, but maybe I shouldn't because it's a, it's a, it's, you know, probably a copyrighted spelling list, I guess. The title is Spelling By Words. Um, there we go and then description I'm just going to copy this because you have to put these things in to, to, to put it so here I'll put BYI enter the, so people can find it BYI hyphen comma uh, spelling by there we go so if they search any of those three things this should come up uh, to we have to put an image as well so we'll just grab our logo here at the at the channel and hit save and there's that well you know it's fourth grade list but probably lots of kids can use so we'll go third grade through six there we go and then I'm not gonna worry about finding the standard but we'll hit share and oh okay so I can't do these two tags okay there we go I didn't know that so learn something new every day so there we go now it's there and it's a, it's available to you if that's something you want to see uh, Thanks again to the Clever Dan and Mrs. Clark for uh, giving me the idea and showing me how to do it so that I could show it to you guys. Remember, her, her link to the store will be in the 
in the section down below. But if you have any suggestions, comments, or concerns, or you just maybe want me to try to figure something out, or you have a great idea you want to share with me, then make sure you leave it in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for checking us out, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.